Can you imagine Ben Solo out there, one with the force, being all like Finn, just shouting, Ray! 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 Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Force push the like button. Not hit <laughs> subscribe if you're new here. We are talking Ben Solo. Why Ben Solo needs, should be, must be, can be, will be in the Ray Skywalker. Don't say Skywalker movie. Ray Skywalker. We're going to have a lot of fun. Let me know all of your thoughts in that chat right to the side and in the comments down below. I want to know everything you've got to say or what you're thinking about Ben Solo, Ray, the movie that may or may not happen. By the way, we will be talking about that tonight, 8 p.m. on the Rebel Scum podcast channel. That's our flying casual live stream tonight. It is. Is the Ray movie even happening? Rumors are out there that it has been canceled. But until then, we're talking the positivity of the Ray movie because it is 100% happening. I don't know how it can happen. I'll get into it on the live stream. I don't know how this cannot happen, but it should happen. And if it does happen, how do you do it without Finn? But most importantly, how do you do it without the dyad in the force, Ben, with Ray? Let's get right into it. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, Ben. Please don't go this way. No, no, you're still holding on! Let go! Now, a dyad in the forest wasn't something that we were all privy to until the masterpiece that was The Rise of Skywalker came out and it hit us with this dyad. I feel like this was kind of like they needed an explanation for why these two characters were so drawn so closely together and they couldn't say the word Raylo in the movie. So they were like, a dyad, a dyad in the force. And Shivp himself was all in awe of this dyad and loved every second of it and wanted to manipulate them and have them work for him and his darkness and the dark side of the force and yada, yada, yada. But at its core, a force dyad is when two individuals share such deep connection through the force that they essentially become two halves of the same whole. Kind of like a donut and a donut hole, or a Timbit, as we say up here. They're bonded in a way that allows them to transcend space, time, and even the usual limitations of the Force itself. Key point. It's like a cosmic link where they can sit. It's like a cosmic link where they can sense each other's emotions, communicate over vast distances, and even pass physical objects between one another without being in the same place as we saw in the rise of skywalker think of it like a psychic video call but with the ability to send stuff directly through the screen like in a nightmare on elm street the phone call i'm your boyfriend now nancy <laughs> it's actually a massive concept in star wars now thank you jj because a dyad is incredibly rare because they needed it for the movie. what never mind it's about two people being uniquely intertwined. Ray and Kylo aren't just strong force users. They amplify each other's abilities. When they're together, their powers are greater than they ever could be alone. And the reason for this, the force flows between them in a way that's almost limitless. And now we get interesting. In The Rise of Skywalker, Shivp refers to the dyad as the power of life itself. This implies that a force dyad has the potential to overcome even death dun 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 their connection is so deep that it can push beyond what we thought were the boundaries of life and the force now if you're thinking about the broader implications and i know you are a force dyad isn't just a plot device yes it is it's a powerful metaphor for unity partnership and how deeply two people can be connected in ways that that transcend the physical it suggests that the force is not just a tool but a living energy that, when linked between two people, can become something far more profound than just pushing objects or jumping really high. The Force Dyad is the ultimate connection between two people, allowing them to tap into the Force in ways that are practically unheard of. It's one of the rarest and most powerful bonds in the galaxy, and it changes the rules of how the Force works. 
plot device. And now I'm going to do a trigger warning right now. So stay put, stay in your chair. It's happening in The Force, Aw- in the Force Awakens, but not The Force Awakens, in The Rise of Skywalker. Two movies after The Force Awakens. Uh, ben Solo, spoilers also. Ben Solo, a.k.a. Kylo Ren, a.k.a. the child of Han and Leia, uh, dies. He's killed dead. Blah! But even though he's dead, there's a chance he could return in future Star Wars films. And this is without being resurrected or appearing as a Force ghost. Because who wants that? Who wants that? I mean, a lot of people. But but would you prefer physical form to Force ghost? Probably. One key possibility lies in his unique bond with Rey. Because they are a Force dyad. The rare connection allowed them to be more than just Link. They essentially existed as one in the Force. And because Shivp referred to this as the power of life itself, this is suggesting that it may transcend even death. So now let's talk about how Ben Solo could return in the new Grey Skywalker movie that may or may not be called New Jedi Order. We don't know what it is. We don't know if it's happening, but this is what it is. I like New Jedi Order, so I'm going to call it New Jedi Order or the Rey Skywalker movie, whatever, 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 whatever. There are a couple of intriguing theories. Ray might tap into their shared memories, accessing parts of Ben that still linger within her. Another possibility is that as a dyad, a part of Ben's spirit could still reside inside of Ray, influencing her journey or guiding her in some way. The dyad connection could be the key to bringing Ben back into the story, not physically, but in a way still deeply affects the narrative. Then, of course, there's also the power of the dyad potentially crossing time and space. It will be fascinating to see if and how Ben Solo's presence will shape Rey's next chapter as she rebuilds the Jedi Order. Could his legacy continue to play a pivotal role, or might we see him in a more tangible way? We'll have to wait and see. We don't know. The other possibility, now we're going 15 years removed, and this is one that I don't think is going to play out, but I know it's one that a lot of uh, fans, Raylo fans especially want to see, is could Ray uh, have been pregos with Ben Solo's child? That was a big topic of conversation for a, a minute after the rise of Skywalker. I know that was a positive talk for a lot of people, also a negative because the Raylo thing is very... Look, it is what it is. Uh, so you never know. I don't think she's going to be prego, though. I think because of the 15 years, I don't think she's going to have two 15-year-old kids. However, however, however... That would make a very, I don't know why I said two, twins, I guess. I guess I'm thinking twins. I I think, though, that could actually add a lot to this, a lot. And I don't think they know what they're doing right now. So, hey, Disney, hit me up. Got some ideas. Ben Solo's return in the upcoming new Jedi Order Rey Skywalker movie. What if they called it instead of Star Wars? They call it Rey Skywalker. They just rebrand to Rey Skywalker. Again, got ideas. His presence would add a significant... His presence would add significant depth to the storyline. His complex character arc from conflicted villain to redeemed hero still has untapped potential. As part of the Force Dyad with Rey, his connection to her transcends death, opening the door for his influence to continue without undermining his sacrifice in The Rise of Skywalker. And undermining sacrifices is something we haven't seen before. Ben's presence could provide emotional and thematic balance to Rey's journey as she rebuilds the Jedi Order, exploring how his redemption impacts the future of the Force. Ben Solo's return would resonate with fans who believe his story ended too soon, far, far, far too soon, offering closure and growth. Whether through flashbacks, memories, or a lingering Force connection, Ben's role could enrich Rey's challenges in a post-Skywalker saga, exploring the legacy of the Skywalkers while introducing new dynamics to the Jedi's future. If you liked this video, if you didn't like it, (laughs) force push the like button, force push the dislike button, hit the subscribe button, more videos coming your way, more Star Wars videos, more fun videos, Andrew Fantasia will be back with more Marvel United videos, it's all fun here, we love what we love, and we don't love what we don't love thank you so much everybody for watching like subscribe may the force of others be with you